Hello guys, this is Sharon here from 24-7 Key, and in this video I am going to show you something surprising that I have noticed in the U-Euphoria. So I have the U-Euphoria over here. Uh, this is the stock Android version. So uh, I did um, and I made a lot of videos regarding this. I bought this uh, version of the phone to check out what's, uh, what's new and what's not. I also did a second review with this. So you can check out it on my channel because, but uh, in this video I'm going to show you guys something surprising that I found. So this is running on stock Android right now, the Android version that it comes out of the box. So this is not uh, this is not a Sun Engine mod uh, version, and uh, you you launch this special version for the Euphoria Euphoria, which is on Android 5.1.1. The thing that I found on this uh, phone is that it is not 64-bit enabled. So the OS is not 64-bit enabled. As you can see, I've just opened the Enter to Benchmark uh, app. As you can see, we have an option of uh, switching to 32-bit in this uh, Mizu uh, Mizu M2. Which is and uh, which is in phone we, uh, which also has a 64-bit enabled processor. But in U Euphoria we don't have an option of uh, enabling the, it as 64-bit. I even went to the in the info and it shows as Android 5.1.1 see 32-bit. Uh, if we go into core information, it does shows us that it's uh, it's in 64 type uh, it's in 64-bit type processor. It's Qualcomm Snapdragon 410. But this but 64-bit isn't uh, enabled on this uh, OS. I really don't know why you has done this and uh, it does uh, render the performance of the phone. I will show you another thing. Uh, the moment I install Sun Engine mod on this phone, uh, it will it will enable 64-bit. So what we will do right now, I will fast forward this. Power of the phone, go into the custom recovery and install Sun Engine mod and then boot up and uh, the moment it's boot up, I will be back. So first of all, do remember to make a backup. So I have uh, I have already made a couple of backups. So do remember to make a backup and uh, big, and there's no and there's no official zip also available for the stock Android fast boot or anything. So do make a backup of the current OS. Then we'll do a, is a simple factory wipe. we are booted up into the Sun Engine mod and what we'll do is I've kept a couple of apps in the backup and now what we'll do is uh, go into the backup app backup apps and uh, we'll install enter to benchmark
So the moment I switched on Enter to Benchmark on San Engine mode, it gives an uh, it gives us an option of six, enabling 64-bit. If we enable 64-bit, a simple install and done. So here is U Euphoria running on San Engine mode on 64-bit, and there's also an option of uh, switching to 32-bit. But on uh, U Euphoria running on stock Android, the stock Android the uh, the stock Android. Are given to us by you, and uh, there's no 64 bit enabled on the there's no 64 bit enabled on that uh, OS. I have no idea why you has done that, but that does uh, hamper the uh, performance a little bit as well. I've noticed a little bit sluggish test on the stock Android compared to the uh, the CM12. This is an answer that you need to give to all of us because we can definitely see that the 64 bit is enabled on this Android 5.1.1 but it is not enabled on the stock Android version 1. So there's something, there's some problem going around with that. So thank you guys for watching this video. This was Shavun here from 24-7 Techie. Just reporting a bug for the EU Euphoria uh, on stock Android. If you would like to talk to me regarding anything, do contact me through Facebook, Twitter or even comment on the video and I will surely get in touch with you. And do subscribe to our channel because we really need subscribers and you can help us a lot through that red subscription button. I really hope to see you in my next video. Till then, see ya.